I don't know if there's any more urgency than there was at the South Dakota State game. I mean, you know, when you go back and look at it, each game has kind of presented the same situation, a win or else situation. So, you know, I don't know that there's an urgency in this game that there hasn't been the past three weeks. I mean, there was an urgency at Missouri State. You know, it's it was, uh, I, think, I think the same tension in that particular football game was there as much as it would be in this particular game. It's just... You know, a different opponent, and 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 unfortunately, we get to play at home. I mean, the the good thing here is, is, you know, we've had a good run of games at home now, which helps in really getting back on your feet and 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 gaining. I don't know if it's a comfort zone, but a little bit of a confidence, a little more stable uh, environment. Southern's given up some points this year, Coach. Um, are, as you watch them on film, our teams really effective running the ball against them? Are they, have they passed it better against them? What, how are teams putting up 30, 40 points on them? I think each team has gone after them a little bit differently. And, and uh, you know, some teams have thrown it on them. And then others have, have hit some runs on them. Uh, last week, uh, the Illinois State running back, you know, ran for 250 yards. But, you know, when you get those kind of yards, you usually pop a big run. And he popped like two or three big runs on them for probably 50, 60 yards plus. So, uh, you know, and he's he's a very good football player. So you look at that; that's the exception. Then you look at everybody else, you know, to see how their running backs slash receivers are doing. And usually, a big it's 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 some big plays have happened when they've gotten those big numbers. So we've got we've got to find a way to create some big plays as well. And and uh, you know, it still goes back. Is is we got to do a we're we're really going to pick up a defense. We have to get better on defense and and find a way to. We, you know where where our weak spots are, where we can shore up some areas, whether it be by personnel or, you know, teaching a guy a little bit better technique. We got to go back and look at ourselves maybe to make sure that we're sound in what we do on defense. You talked about uh, wanting to improve the pass game, but how impressed have you been with the rushing game and and what specifically Aaron Bailey brings with his ability to to run the ball? Well, our our rushing game, you know, it's been it's been very good the past month. And it's gotten a little bit better each 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 game. So, and Aaron's a huge part of that. He's been our leading rusher on our football team. Uh, last week we ended up at Tyvis, uh, picked up his 100-yard rushing game. So, uh, it helped last week to establish the other runners. And I think that's what we hadn't been doing. Is it was all Aaron and a little bit of running back. Uh, I think the running back actually opened up the the quarterback play last week, and that was the first time probably in the past month that that's happened. So Aaron's a huge part of it, but the more we can put the pressure on the running back, the better Aaron can play in other capacities. So the last, uh, well, at least regular season.